Sam <laughs> Welcome to Sammy and Jim's Hipster Dog Show, or whatever the heck we're going to call it eventually. We don't know yet. Main but subject to change. Yeah, but that's what we're going to call it for right now. Today we're counting down the top nine craziest animals. Pretty much craziest, animals. weirdest, funniest, cutest animals that we could find on Google. Yeah. I didn't realize Armit, um... Don't Armit do spoilers? No, Armit spoilers? Don't, Ar no, no. My mom got a library. It's a kid's book, and okay. it, it, it shows actual sizes of animals. Yeah. And like an armadillo, a real, like, an armadillo is like this big. Yeah. They're so cute. I've seen one actually in real life. I went to Missouri. and in Missouri? I went to Missouri for, oh, for like so cool. a family get, get together thing, and we were taking a hike, and there was an armadillo that ran off in the woods. That's pretty what? cool. No, it would have been funny to just. <laughs> it rolled up, rolls, rolls down the hill. <laughs> it's here on like a cliff, and it's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, number nine. Number nine. That was terrible. The main wolf. <laughs> That's that. Yes, this is some interesting facts about this main wolf is that it's omnivorous, omniv omnivorous. Which doesn't make it omnivorous. It eats everything. Yeah, it eats berries and small rodents. It's kind of like a strange creature. Uh, it lives in central, south, and southeast Brazil, Paraguay, eastern Bolivia, and northern Argentina. To scare its prey... Northern Argentina, <laughs> yeah. not southern Argentina. It's actually very specific. Those probably have certain ecosystems for their animals. Um, to oh, scare out its prey when it's hunting, it will tap the ground with its paws, and it will... Dinner, <laughs> Ray! <laughs> Pretty much. That's how a mom does with a bell. Number eight. Number eight. Eight, eight, eight. The eye-eye. This it's is. Not, a, it's not that weird of animal because I've seen it on other weird animal lists, and so. But the, this picture is a baby eye-eye, and then this is the actual eye-eye. So they aren't as hideous as baby eye. -eye. So actually, we kind of were lied to because our initial image that we got was that one of the baby eye-eye. We thought it was like some sort of freaky. Naked old man. Naked old man. <laughs> Some freaky naked old man. And they took a picture of it and thought it was an animal. Uh, these are nocturnal animals that eat wood larvae and beetles. What the heck is wood larva? <laughs> like legitimate. Like it just like okay, a larva is what Wood larva is like like the whatever the insect or whatever it is, like it burrows the, their eggs into the tree and then a the larva eat the wood. Your grammar is terrible. No. <laughs> <laughs> the larva, the larvae. The larvae. Oh, eats... from the thing. I'm a no, mababa. No, you're making a plural. Larvae is singular. I know. Lar the larvae the eats the wood and gets out and the, the I'm eye, gonna, eye. I'm going to name my next dog Larvae. <laughs> <laughs> larvae, go over here. Anyway. All right, number seven. <laughs> number seven. I want this one. The pink fairy armadillo. It's so cute. It, it's basically like a small little... Like, it's a hamster with body armor. Yeah. Or a guinea pig. I thought it looked like a guinea pig. Okay, what do you think God was thinking? He's like, okay, <laughs> well, I need a strong animal that's going to go into war. I'll make a really cute thing. We're going to make Because God talks like that. <laughs> or, he, or he had an armadillo and was like, let's make this smaller and cuter. And pink and call it a fairy. And yeah. there's body armor on its back. If only it had wings. Now, that would be the coolest thing ever. <laughs> this is the smallest armadillo, and it, it's only the size of a large rat. Well, like, like that. How, with the tail? Uh, it doesn't have a tail. Because then there's this. This is a large rat with the tail. It can actually paddle, the tail's back. It can actually paddle swim through sand, which like. <laughs> and you imagine doing that in like the beach, <laughs> like like you like <laughs> like you're just swimming and then you get into and then you get into shallow water and you're just <laughs> swimming and you go up on the beach and you're like, hey, what's up, Al? Who? And doing? actually, the cool the coolest thing that I thought about these guys is they can bury themselves in. Approximately two seconds if they feel that they're threatened by danger. So they'll just they'll just burrow. If they're in sand, <laughs> they'll burrow themselves into the ground and then they'll cut and they'll bury, basically bury themselves. Because if they're in concrete, they'll just crush their head against the ground. Like, oh. You know, I don't think they live where concrete actually Shut is. Shut up, man. <laughs> Number six. Number six. The yeti crab. <laughs> it's so weird. The yeti crab. It has one fact on it, on this page, I know. I wrote down, because it was the only one I could find that was interesting. It eats bacteria from its fur. It grows bacteria in its fur, and then it eats the bacteria that's in its fur. And oh. it also eats plankton, but... Like, if you get bacteria in your arm hair, you're like... Oh, okay, I'm full. You do that like 700 times, and you, you're oh. full now. Don't eat off my arm. <laughs> Don't eat off my fur! You eat off your own fur. Number five. 
Number five. Why am I repeating it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Number five. The gear nuck. This. What is the gear nuck? It's it's like a deer. Oh yeah, um, yeah, 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 that one. It actually this is cool. It obtains its moisture from plants, not from water. So it it doesn't drink water. It eats plants and then its body absorbs the moisture from the plants. You have to eat a lot of celery. Well, that's they they are uh, they are herbivores. Duh. Or herbivores. Hey, what if you ate a human? You'd have 90% <laughs> water. 90% water. Hey! We're just bags of mostly water. But it's not just purely water. <laughs> and blood and like gooey gooey muscles. Stop it. Anyways. Uh, number four. <laughs> the tufted deer. Vampire. Deer vampire. It's a, it's a vampire. Deer. Deer vampire. Is it? Um, it has very short antlers that barely protrude from the tufts in its hair. So, it's just like this. I have an antler. Yeah. You can't even see it. <laughs> it's basically like an ant antlerless deer because they're so short. Antlerless ant. But it has teeth to make up for its antlers. Okay, so. Approximately only, the, apparently, only the males have the tusks. Mm -hmm. Or at least they have the longer tusks as a sign of their masculinity. And then they, they duel. Could you, okay, two things. Could you imagine, number one, if we had tusks to show our masculinity? Oh, dude, man. <laughs> or we just had a really big overbite to show our masculinity. <laughs> like, hey, guys, <laughs> you're really masculine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really disturbing mental image. And then number two, okay, what are antlers used for? Fighting. Fighting and marking, and, and marking territory. So, you walk in your house, <laughs> <laughs> there's like, or, or like, or you just see a deer like gnawing a tree, and you're like, "What is?" It? <laughs> and it's like, "Oh, it's marking its territory." It, it says, "John, <laughs> John Deer." Come on, come on! Okay. You totally missed that. <laughs> that was funny. And then fighting, you like have to make out to fight. Like, hey guys, ho! Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna fight you for that girl over there. <laughs> number three. <laughs> number three. Uh, this one makes me happy inside. <laughs> <laughs> the blobfish. This is, it looks, it looks like a very poorly caricatured picture of your grandfather's face. Mine is dead. Oh, so is mine. <laughs> Why are we laughing about that? Anyway, it looks very unhappy all the time. It's actually a deep sea fish, so it's, it, it doesn't. You never see it. Unfortunately, I'd love to see or, it. Or, when you're deep sea fishing. You just see this face come out of the dark. <laughs> Anyways, it does, it's, it's mass, the mass of its body is slightly less dense than water, and it al that allows it to float across the ocean floor. How lazy is that fish? It's a blobfish. I know, but like... Couch potato fish. Like, yeah, okay. It eats lots of potato chips. It swallows edible matter. Okay, everything is ed I'm edible matter, but that's Fish poop, illegal. basically. Seaweed. And it, I don't understand like how this works, but somehow it swallows the edible matter that is like floating in the water, but then it also can eat mussels, crabs, and sea pens. So somehow it, it can go between... Either those are the most dumb mussels and other... What mussels don't really move. They just kind of, they sit at the bottom and they open up and they... Okay, so see, that's really... <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> like, you're so fat, and it's like... There's a muscle, it's a clam, and then you go to get it, and it snaps. <laughs> it clams on your lower jaw. Hey, Fred, what's that? It's my new piercing. <laughs> <laughs> number two. The number two. This one is awesome. This is so cool. It looks like a video game creature, but God made it. Wait. <laughs> so it's basically like, it looks like something from Spore. It's the Glaucus Atlanticus. It, it floats on its back on is the it surface. one in your house? In like, a, in, in, like in, in a an fish aquarium? tank? It'd be like... People are like, yeah, there's my goldfish, and there's a clownfish, and what the heck is that? <laughs> the Glaucus Atlanticus. <laughs> it's so freaking cool. It floats on its back on the surface of the water, and to avoid being killed by air predators, its belly is actually blue, so it blends in with the ocean waves. But isn't water clear? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Anyways. And it feeds on hydrosomes, which... Zones. It feeds on hydrosomes, which cool. is the same family as jellyfish. So, it has a protective mucus on its body that protects it from the jellyfish stings. It also has hard plates underneath its skin. And wait for it. To it gets cooler. To protect it from the poison. Then, it takes the poison and, uh, and puts it into its little tentacly things. That's cool. And stores it for defense. Do you know how cool that'd be? Just like... Like, if a, if a rabid dog bites you... And then you just put the rabies in your fingers. In the fingers, and you're like, I don't like you. 
Who, 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 it'd be kind of, oh, dude, it'd be kind of like uh, like Skyrim or Bioshock. You'd be like, with your hand, you'd be like, oh, rabies. Transmit that. <laughs> and number, number one. one. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Before we show you this picture, <laughs> you may want to not finish. It's scary. Click away! Not really. Please don't. Subscribe. You know. Click away! Okay. Um, number the, one. Number one. This is the goblin shark. This is the picture we saw. As you can see, the, the picture that we saw was of a dead goblin shark. And it's ten times scarier than the living goblin shark that we showed you previously. So this is the, the cool thing. Is that it lives below 250 meters. So it's actually no threat to humans. Most humans. <laughs> Except for deep sea divers. Exactly. And it's also called... Could you imagine freaking swimming down <laughs> and then seeing a live goblin shark? It's like, oh, number one, why do they call it a goblin shark? Well, actually, its nickname is the vampire shark because it has a fear of sunlight. Like, it doesn't like to come above... So if you have a sunlight bulb, you're like... <laughs> <laughs> So this is, but I think it should be called the unicorn shark. <laughs> Except it's not wonderful in unicorn. But it looks like it, it has a horn. It has a unicorn horn. I know what it, I know it looks like a unicorn, but it's demon demon possessed unicorn. Yeah, pretty much. So that was our list of the top nine. Oh, that's fine. The top nine craziest animals that we could find. If you liked it, please like and share. like, comment, subscribe, and so most you, importantly, share on yeah. Facebook, Twitter. Google Plus and whatever other yeah. social media Tumblr if who you use that. Right? MySpace? Anyone? MySpace? No, no okay. one uses MySpace. It's right. a music site. Okay. Well. You're done. Anyways, also comment down below this desk if you have an idea that you would like us to talk about. And if you really love our talk shows and our other short films, please subscribe because we love subscribers. And we need ideas, guys. Yeah. Just give us lots and lots like, of ideas. Even if you think it's stupid, it we doesn't probably have to be a top take it and talk about it. It doesn't have to be a top ten. It doesn't have to be just anything. If you want to know what our opinion is on global warming, which is totally, if you know what Ohio is, if you know what Ohio is going through, you no. Anyways, <laughs> I will talk to you guys next week. Sam can talk to you next week. Hopefully next week. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, whatever. <laughs>